Welcome back. And so when we last left off, we were halfway through uh, laying up the mold for the keel. And here we are on Wednesday and we got the first um, layer of the heavy uh, carbon fabric on there. And we ended up putting five layers on that. So um, that pretty much took the whole day. So a bit of a bit of a marathon and um, Jeff wanted just to go an extra layer because it's sort of like a long mold and needed sort of some extra rigidity to it but we didn't really have any problems so here we are at the end of the day and got all five layers on here and uh, then the peel ply basically on the places where we're going to be attaching the bracing and also just on any um, places where there was um, uh, exposed ends of one layer so that's that job done and during the same day Jeff managed to get the uh, spar plug uh, in primer and also there with the guide coat sprayed on that so that's uh, ready for its sanding. Um, it's going to be a little bit of work because it's quite large but anyway no one's that done. Here's uh, Mark and Zach um, waxing down the roof plug seeing that that had finished all its sanding so um, that ended up getting uh, seven coats of wax on that. So that one's all done now just needs the profile on there so we, before we can lay the mold or lay up the mold. And here's Devin uh, sanding on the main spar. And I was actually working on um, making some little fixes to the floor, one of the floor brace molds that ended up actually having some little bubbles in um, one of the transitions there. So it was a lot of little tedious, careful sanding work um, to fix those. But that's done now as well. And Devin making further progress there. This is sort of, you know, every other day or every day doing about a half a day work on that. Um, that's coming along. And then here's the uh, keel. So Mark is uh, trimming off the edges and sanding them there while it's still on the plug. Um, just he trimmed it and then sanded it. And then here it is released. It actually came out really well. So we're really happy with that. The finished quality on the inside is uh, really nice. So of course, the uh, next thing on this one was just to finish off trimming the edges. Um, straighten them up and then uh, take the wax profile out of that. So that all got done uh, yesterday. So that one now just needs to have the bracing, which you'll see here shortly, and it'll be ready uh, to lay up the keel. And here you can see now it's off. Um, the plug-in is uh, cleaning up the edges more, just sanding it to a straight line. Just making it look good. We don't want our work to look unprofessional. And I was actually running the machine, and this is sped up. Our machine doesn't run that fast. Or I guess it could, but <laughs> it wouldn't be very good. Uh, anyway, this is cutting some uh, foam braces there, and then the guys are just sort of holding them in place just to dry fit them to see how we're going to lay them up. So that'll create kind of like a platform when we flip it over. It'll be stable and won't want to fall over. And uh, there's the um, main uh, spar plug, almost done, just the sides need to be done. And here I'm actually cutting a flange um, out of some MDF that we're gonna use on this uh, one pressure bulkhead, the lower one, that we decided um, we wanted a, a flange on there just to make the mold uh, easier to create. And you'll see that um, in the next, probably in the next video. And again, the machine doesn't run this fast through MDF, but it looks cool. <laughs> and I attached the GoPro to the machine so you can sort of ride along with it. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. So here again, actually using the uh, the quarter inch acrylic bit and cutting in a quarter inch at a time. So two passes to get through the half inch um, MDF. And it does a nice clean job, doesn't take too long. So next thing up here is actually a design that came back from Mark, the finished design on the landing gear legs and we've um, sent those off to Grove now to um, get created. And so here's the side and front, or side and front view, yeah. So our gear legs will be in the process of getting built here soon and we'll have them back, I think in about six or eight weeks, something like that. Next we have the aft bulkhead and the new um, silicon rubber profile has been actually just super glued onto that in place so that'll be the next um, mold that we'll be creating probably Monday 
it's highly likely. Um, so we'll see how that um, that profile works out for us. Hopefully it's going to save us a ton of time compared to the wax. And lastly, Jeff uh, yesterday was spraying what is effectively the gel coat for the fuselage, the lower fuselage. So um, this gives a much better finish for an outside part that you don't uh, end up with the pinholes and things that are sort of inherent with uh, laying up uh, carbon fiber that you can get. Um, so anyway, he's got that all sprayed up. So Monday we will be uh, laying up the uh, fuselage, the lower fuselage part. So you'll see that next week, but yeah, that came out nice. So the, once the fuselage comes out of there, it'll actually have a white color on. Of course, you know, it's gonna get sanded and painted later on, but so you're not gonna see carbon, but. Anyway, that's our update for this week. Thanks for watching.